Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I am going to do another one of Katie's belly bands that she sent me. This one is called, let's see, Belly Band with Hidden Journaling Spot. Gently pull the main tag from top and bottom pockets. Accordion folded paper. Okay, so gently pull. Okay. And then she has some paper folded behind there. Isn't that pretty? And then this just slides right back down in there like that. Ooh, okay, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> now, I went ahead and cut some pieces on this one, but we're going to do two in the next one. I'll show you how I cut the pieces, which you know how to cut paper, but I just wanted to go ahead and get this cut because I want to do two of them. I am doing the first one out of this uh, memory place floral tapestry we are completely out of this and they've discontinued it so we can't get any more but we do have the memory place enchanted and to me it's just as pretty and we're going to be using a couple of sheets out of this one i'm going to use that one and that one of course the butterflies so just show you that real quick Got a, some beautiful journaling cards that are already ready for you and it's got a lot color on the back so you can journal on them and then there's the paper isn't that pretty that's really pretty and most all of the backs are real light so you could journal on them if you wanted to and that's pretty so there's a few more of these left I think but we just can't get the floral tapestry anymore. I wish we could. It's, it's pretty as well. And see, that one has cards on the back that you could cut out. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and try to get started on this and see, <laughs> see what we do. I measured hers, and it measured 2 inches by 8 inches. So that's basically a standard size belly band for a standard size journal. So that's going to be my back piece right there. Even though I hate to cover that little girl up, but I have another sheet like this. And then this is going to be the front piece. Now, I noticed on her front piece, when she cut this, she cut it at 7 inches. So I've cut mine at 7. And then she cut it just shy of 2 inches. So don't cut it the, the complete 2 inches. Cut it just shy, just... Just a hair, not even a sixteenth. I mean, it's just a hair, a very little hair. And then this paper, I cut it at seven and three quarter, and it's by seven. So I've got seven and three quarter by seven. This paper come from Triple V Vintage on Etsy, and I'll try to remember to link them below. You guys know my linking skills lately have been kind of off, but I'll try my best to remember. So this paper is going to actually glue right here on the back of that. Now, the way I folded mine, I just laid laid this on top and then folded to where it wouldn't show. That's, that's just the only way I need to do it. You can measure if you want to and fold it like that, but I just kind of guessed at mine. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on this. And you could use any kind of paper behind this. It doesn't matter. Um, you could just use regular scrapbook paper. I mean, um, regular school book paper or any kind of paper that you want. Anything that you can write on. Lined paper. That's what I was trying to say. Lined paper. All right. Okay, so that is glued to that, like that, and I just glued it to where you couldn't see it anywhere around it, so, okay, now she didn't round her corners, and then she cut two little pieces, and these are an inch by, let's see, so that's two, so, uh, it looks like it's about three inches these little pieces are so they're an inch by three inches and then she just folded them now she probably measured hers and folded i just 
placed mine on here like this and folded. And you don't want to glue them down tight. You want to leave some room in there because this has got to tuck in under it. So let's see. I'm going to ink a little bit just because I want this to show a little bit better that this is a little pocket. So I'm just going to put a little ink around all of it just to cover up any kind of white places that I left when I cut things out. And same with this. So I've got two of these pieces and they're, like I said, they're about three inches by an inch. And I just used some of the scraps that I had left over. So I'm going to put this one at the top, I think, like that. And don't glue them down tight. Leave room. Leave room in there. So I'm going to just do it like this. And see I've got I've got some room in there where I can tuck something under but it still looks kind of flat so just make sure that you leave room <coughs> and I'm hoping I'm doing this the right way y'all y'all know that I go rogue quite a bit so who knows okay then on the bottom we're gonna glue this piece Again, this is just scraps that I had left over. Okay. Now, let's see if we can tuck this in under there. <laughs> That's going to be the $64,000 question. Oh yeah, that worked. Oh, look at that. I think that worked well. So there is my little front piece. Now, she put some lace on here, and I thought I would do the same. I thought that was very pretty. So I'm going to grab a couple of pieces of lace here. And I think I'm going to put mine like at the top, like that. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I don't know. I kind of like it like that, too. But I'm afraid that'll get in the way. So let's put it at the top. And I'm just going to glue it down, and then I'll trim it off, maybe. That should work. Let's see. I think this is the front, this way. Oh, I like that. And then we'll put another piece down here. And I think I'm going to run it the same way, just downward. She turned hers one up and one down, but I'm going to run it the same way. All right, there's that. Now, do we want to decorate on the front of this? I hate to cover up a lot of these flowers, so I might just do just a little bit of decorating. Not a lot, just a tiny bit in different places. She put one of these medallions on the edge of hers, so maybe we'll do that. I like that color better. And I think she actually sent me those, too. Now, do we want to... It's already got plenty of flowers, so we don't need another flower, but what about a butterfly? Okay. One of you guys sent these butterflies to me so I'm thinking we might put a couple of those on there I'm gonna ink up this medallion a little bit and place it right there and then I'll just trim off the excess and then these are, I don't think these are stickers, so we'll just glue them down.
Like that. All right, I'm going to put three little tiny labels, and these are out of the Tim Holtz Curator. I'm just sliding that one up under the butterfly. And then this one, I'm going to ink. And then this little bin up at the top. And we'll just turn it a little bit and put it right there. That little empty spot. So there is ours, like Katie's. Now, you know I need some black bling on there, don't you? Because so I've got that trim on there. And you could also put trim on your butterflies, too, if you want. don't think I will this time. I think I'm just going to put some on my trim at the top and the bottom. Okay, there's that. And there is that one. And that is it. Now let's make sure it still slides out okay. Just have to slide it out gently from the top and the bottom. And then you've got this beautiful little girl. And then you slide it right back in. And if you'll slide it down pretty far on the bottom or top, then you can just slide that other one right in there and then just pull it up a little bit like that. There you go. So that is that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut the other one out. I may not decorate it, but we'll cut it out just to kind of show you what I did on that one. So let me grab that paper, and we'll go ahead and cut that one out and get another one started. I was going to use these two. And I think I'll use, let's see. Hmm. I might use this one for the, the top and this one for the bottom. So you'll see the butterflies when you actually pull the little hidden journaling place out. So we'll, we'll see if we can do it that way. So I'm just going to cut my Brandon strip off. And if it had any words or anything on there, which I can save that because it's got sparkle, it's got little, I can use those. It's also got some little small butterflies, so I'll keep that. Anything that I can use in my journals, I like to keep. Now, we're going to use this for the bottom, right? So we're going to cut that one at two. And then it's going to be cut at eight. Now, if you're making a larger journal and you want a longer belly band, then you can cut it the size of your journal. Okay, then this one will be the top. So we want to cut it just a little bit shorter or narrower than the two. Let me get this strip cut off. Again, I always look at my strips and see if there's anything I can use. So instead of two, I'm going to back it off just a tiny bit. Not quite even a sixteenth. Maybe a thirty-second. Okay, then we're going to cut seven. I'm trying to see what part I want. I think I want this part on there, maybe. Then you can do lots of decorating here. So let's cut it at seven. 
and we just want a little piece of coffee dyed paper that is what did I say seven by something let me cut it seven first and then we'll figure it out I think I said seven by seven and a half or seven and three quarters that's what I said I think that's right if it's not it'll be okay okay Now, like I said, on this, what I did was just laid it on here like this, just so that it was covered up, and then I folded. <laughs> Don't know if that's the right way to do it or not, but that's the way I have to do it to keep from, you know, it showing. See? And then I can just fold it like this until I get it folded up like I need it. we've got that about right and you just fold it in accordion that will glue there yeah that looks good it's hidden so I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this down real well okay so we got that done and then I'm going to ink again. Like I said, I just like the ink look, but you don't have to. So I got a huge, huge box today from one of you guys. And I, part of it is Melina's and part of it is mine. So I want to get hers to her before I show mine. And then we'll do a video on it and I'll tell you who it came from. And then I got another huge box today from a company that would like for me to do a video on a, a special product. And I know a lot of you guys have already asked about this special product, so I can't wait to do the video on it. <laughs> I have already emailed Benji and Alicia and said, get ready, because y'all are going to be helping me do the videos on these. Because this one box is so big that I can't even bring it in. It's huge. Now, this is a scrap that I had left when I cut the belly band. And I just cut it in half. And you could leave it that length. But I'm going to cut it off just a little. Because I don't really need that much. So, I think I'm going to cut them at... Uh, let's just cut it at three. That will give us a half an inch on the back to fold over. And if you had rather put something else on the bottom of this, you can. You don't have to use this. See, my butterflies are flying sideways. So I may not, I may not use that. Let's see. Let's just turn it over and do it this way. And then we can decorate that up. So that'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and ink them. Then I'll show you how I fold them around. Now you could always just, you know, measure and then use your bone folder. But I just lay it up there and kind of center it up. And then on one side I fold right at the edge of the paper. And the other side I let slip a little bit so I have that room in there. See how I've got the room? And you can always adjust this if you need to. If you, you know, if you've got it a little bit too wide, you can adjust it. But I, I just need that room in there like that. So that's that one. So let's just go ahead and glue it down. And you can see once I got finished, they're not exactly even. But this is going to be glued down to your page, so it's not going to matter. Okay, put it right at the end. Like that. And then that one glued over there. And you don't have to hold anything with art glitter glue because it glues really fast, especially like today. It's it's probably, well, let's see, it's 81 here today, very hot for November. So my glue and everything's drying really fast. Okay, fold that one around right up against the edge of the paper and then when I start to fold this one 
I just make sure that I crease it just a little bit out away from the paper. That gives me that little bit of extra room. Oh, I saw a video of another YouTuber the other day, I think a week ago or more, that lost her husband back at the end of October. So, and I cannot remember her name and I can't find the video again. I just happened upon it. So you guys remember her. Just pray for the, the girl on YouTube that lost her husband because I know exactly what she's going through. They had been married 25 years, I believe she said. So heartbreaking. I think he actually drowned. Um, I think he was out fishing or something, and I don't know what happened, but anyway, he didn't come home, and they found him in the lake. Okay, so there's that. Now, I said I wasn't going to decorate this one, and I may not completely on camera, but I, will, I do want something up here because, you know, that's kind of plain. So what would we put up there? What about um, one of these other? Oh, uh, what about the butterfly? That's cute. Here again, these are our bobbins that we sell in the store, our lace bobbins. Oh, yeah, I like that, but I, want, I still want something behind it. And I think I'll go with just a piece of this book page. Just put that across like that. And then put our lace down, and that'll give it a little bit more... Oof, I guess you'd call it a bit more oof. Okay, now let's see what the butterfly looks like on there. I think that's the right side. Yeah, that works better. I just had to give it a little bit of something behind the butterfly because that was too plain back there. I told you guys about the stray cat, didn't I? Did I tell you about the stray cat? You know I can't remember what I've told you and what I haven't, right? So if you've already heard the story about the stray cat, you can you can just click off or, or for, fast forward, whatever. But um, right after Whit passed away, there was a cat that came up just out of the blue. Just I, We don't know where it come from. We don't know whose it was. I mean, it, it looked like a tame cat. It wasn't wild because it liked to rub up against you and... Well, I tried finding who it belonged to, and nobody claimed it. So I decided, well, I guess I'll just claim you. I don't, I can't bring it in because I'm allergic, and my granddaughter is allergic too. So I can't have it in the house. So we have it outside, and I, it has a nice place to sleep, and you know, nice warm place to sleep, and all that kind of stuff. So it's not out there in the weather or anything, but. Brooklyn has just adopted it as hers and she said nanny I think the reason this kitty cat come up right after Papa passed away is because I think that it wants to give you company like Papa did and so she has named it Papa's cat <laughs> even though Papa cannot could not stand cats <laughs> or dogs but um, she has just kind of adopted it as our cat. Well, we bought it a flea and tit collar and we got it food and she feeds it all the time and I feed it. And when, I, when she's not here, she's calling me. And she'll say, Nene, feed Papa's cat. So I'll go out there and feed Papa's cat. But it, I mean, literally that cat showed up the day 
that he passed away or the day after and and nobody knows where it come from i mean it i asked all the neighbors and they said no it's not ours i don't know i've asked people down the road i put it on facebook you know if anybody is in the area has lost a cat we have it but nobody has claimed it so i just feed it and take care of it but it is a cute cute cat it's part lynx because it's bobtail and it looks like a calico i mean it's very very furry and soft so anyway i didn't know if i had told y'all about the cat or not but miss brooklyn just said this is this is our cat because it come up after papa left so it can give you company so we got a kitty now <laughs> I still want me a little doggy, so if you guys know of anybody who is maybe wanting to get rid of a little dog that's in our area, of course I know I don't want to have a dog shipped to me. I just feel like that would be cruel to have a dog put in a in a crate and shipped, but anybody around here that might, you know, not maybe not too far away that I could get a little puppy dog from. I would love to have a little puppy. I don't want a big dog. I want a little bitty inside dog that doesn't shed and doesn't, um, you know, hyperallergenic because too many of my grandbabies are allergic and Presley's got asthma and Ashley's allergic. So I just have to be careful what I bring in. But I would just love to have a sweet little dog to keep me company. So... If you know of one or you have any suggestions, let me know. I don't, I can't pay, you know, thousands of dollars for a dog. I just can't do it. I don't have that kind of money anymore. So I need one that maybe somebody's wanting to rehome and um, maybe it's already trained and they just want to rehome it. Because I don't, I don't know that I would have the patience to tra house train one. And I really don't want to have to go outside with it all the time. So, I mean, you know, I'm <laughs> I'm pretty picky, right? Um, it's not that. It's just that I have a really hard time going outside and walking around in our, our area, especially at night. We have a lot of hilly land, and I end up tumbling down something and falling and breaking something. So, Alicia's like, you're not getting one you have to take out at night now. We're not going to go that route. <laughs> so... I need some other little kind of pulpy. But just, just let me know if you know of a place or, um, you know, if you're local and you know of a place that I might be able to pick up one, I would appreciate it. Those are some little doilies that Katie sent me. I thought I'd put those on there. And then, I don't know what else, truthfully. Let's see. Let's grab a flower, maybe. These are some flowers that we had in the store, I think, last year. We haven't got any more in yet. It's just been so hectic trying to get something from overseas right now. So we just we just kind of stopped trying for a while. Because it was like a disaster trying to get something in for a little while. I still have an order that's out there somewhere. I don't even know where. It's gotten lost, I guess. Okay, I think I might put that one on there. And I need a little label or something to put at the bottom of it. So let's grab a Katie label. Now these are still on our blog. They're a free download if you're a subscriber here. So you can go over and grab one of those if you'd like. Let's see. I'm just going to grab a couple of teeny tiny ones to put on here. I like that. Okay, let's go with one of those. That's just a uh, stamp and it's on um, vellum. And I'm just going to tear that out a little bit. And this, I believe, is from the Tim Holtz. It's the Tim Holtz stamp, but I think we still have some of these in stock. I don't know the name of it right this minute because my brain don't work. But if you'll just type in Tim Holtz stamps, 
you will see all of the stamps pull up and you'll be able to tell this one pull out my barely arts because this is a vellum and I don't want it to show through and put a little bit on the back of that and then we'll stick that down right there and I think I want my flower down first and then I'm gonna put the label over the bottom of it I don't like for the bottom of the flowers just to be sticking out because to me that looks like the flowers not um, it's just floating in the air somewhere so I'm gonna put that right I think I'm gonna put it that way that way it won't cover up that it won't cover up that one sorry I've got um, I just drink um, ice one of those ice drinks and now my throat's all clogged up uh -oh, huh? all right so we'll put that down in there a little bit let it go that way and then this little guy will put it up there at the top see I did decorate this one after all didn't I oh let's turn that the other way so we've got one turn this way one that way and one that way so that'll work and then I think I'll put the butterfly on there like just on the edge like that and then I'm just going to use the Barely Arts. We have Barely Arts in. Now this is a glue that works very, very similar to Art Glitter Glue. It sticks really well. It, um, the only difference in it and Art Glitter Glue is Art Glitter Glue, when you put it behind vellum, it will show through. It will make your vellum bubble up. Barely Arts does not. It doesn't even show behind the vellum doesn't make it bubble nothing but it sticks just as good as art glitter glue does so I use both and then the other main difference that you can tell in the two different type of glues is this one ships year-round barely arts I mean barely art ships year-round art glitter glue does not we are about to stop shipping art glitter glue to especially the northern countries or northern states because it will freeze and then it's watery when it thaws out this even if it was to freeze which it has an agent in it where it's not supposed to but if it does when it thaws out you can just shake it up and it's just as normal doesn't hurt it at all okay so we got that on there I still feel like I want a little something right there See, that's me not knowing when to stop. Not knowing when to give up. Maybe just a little piece of a label. Let's just do that. Put just a little tiny piece of a label down here. And then we'll just cut it off and I'll use the other part somewhere else. Whoops. It'd be real good if you put the right side. Put it right way up. You need to look at your label. Oh, it's sticking to my finger and not the book the page. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. Cut that off and let that go back in my little container here. We we'll use that later. Where you cut it, put a little bit of ink. And it looks much, much better. Looks like it belonged there. So there's the second one. Let's make sure that it pulls out. I think it does, but let's make sure that I didn't glue anything down. No, I didn't. And then you can decorate this back here up if you wanted to. I may later. I'm not going to right this minute. But I love, love, love that. And I saw a lot of you had done the belly bands that we did the other day from Katie's. The one that, uh, this one. A lot of you have already done these. So that's fantastic. Wonderful. And they look great. I absolutely love them. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for continuing your prayers and your support. Uh, that's what gets me going. That's what gets me through and keeps me wanting to come back to this table and continue to do videos for you guys. Plus, I've had lots and lots of people who say that I am 
their reason for getting up and continuing their day and crafting and things like that because they've gone through similar situations as I have and they've they're in grief and so um, just watching and, and talking with me or me talking with them has helped them a lot so if you're someone out there who is going through grief then the best information or the best advice that I could give to you is to find an outlet my outlet is crafting and then at, at night when it's the worst when the grief is the worst um, and the loneliness I go in and I have a a book that a really interesting book that I soak into or I have TV shows or movies that I soak into and I'm not a TV person but I've watched more TV probably in the last six weeks than I ever have in my life but it's just something to, and, it, and let it be a movie or a book that doesn't take a lot of concentration. It's just something to get you involved in. Or if just craft the night away if you want to and sleep during the day. Whatever it takes to get you through, whatever it takes to make you feel better, then that's what it's all about. Uh, you guys have helped me so much by sending me cards. So if you know anybody else who is suffering with grief, please send them a card. Please send them an email. Send them something to make them feel better because all the emails that I have got from you guys have been wonderful. All of the messages, all of the cards. I sit at night and still read the cards over and over again. I've got a big box and I just sit and pull a few out and read them every night. But... Let somebody know that you're there for them and that you can help them or will help them if they need it. Also, if you are a son, a daughter, or granddaughter, or any, any grandson, whatever, and your mother or father is gone and the other one is alone, please don't leave them alone. If my kids did not come over and see me at least once or twice or three times a week, I don't know what I would do because when I see them coming up the driveway that helps me so so much that takes away some of that loneliness for that period of time so if your mother or father is alone their spouse is gone then please contact them please go see them please spend time with them because they need it believe me take it from someone who is going through it right now we need it all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks so much. God bless. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you would, I would appreciate it, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.